right, here's number four. Again, we are evaluating when x equals 2, y equals 3, and z equals 5. Do be very careful of this one. People think that if you have an x plus y to the third power, it's the same thing as x cubed plus y cubed, but that is not true. All right, let's begin by plugging in the correct values for x and y. So since x is 2, we're going to put a 2 plus, and y is 3. And now we're going to do order of operations. Order of operations says do inside parentheses first. So that's 2 plus 3, which is 5. You can keep that in parentheses, but it's unnecessary at this point since it's a positive number, and we have 5 cubed. 5 cubed is 5 times 5 times 5, and so the answer is 125. Notice this is not the same thing as x cubed plus y cubed. Because if you had written x cubed plus y cubed, 2 cubed plus 3 cubed, in other words, you would get 8 plus 27, which is 35. Okay? So make sure you realize this is correct for this side, and this is the correct way to do x cubed plus y cubed, and they're totally different. So when you see 2 plus 3 in parentheses to the third power, do not write 2 cubed plus 3 cubed. You have to write 5 cubed. All right, that's the end of part 2 for 1.3. All right, we're going on to a 1.3 part 3 now. It says write each phrase as an algebraic expression or inequality. Use x to represent the unknown number. All right, so what do we have here? 5 times a number decreased by 4. So that means you have something, and then when it says decreased by 4, that means you're taking away 4. For instance, if you weighed 100 pounds and you decreased it by 4, you'd be down at 96. So we have to start off with 5 times a number, right? And the number is x, so that will be 5x. And then we're going to decrease it by 4, so I'm going to subtract 4. And that's the answer. Okay, next one. The quotient of a number in 5. When you talk about a quotient in algebra, you're talking about writing something as a fraction. So write a fraction bar. And it would usually be the quotient of this and that. So the and separates the two parts. So you've got a number and five. What is in front of the and goes on top, and what's after the word and goes on the bottom. So the number is x, and the other part is five. And there we've got a quotient of x and five. All right, number three is confusing for a lot of people. Five subtracted from twice a number. Well, the trick here is five subtracted from, that means I've got to take away five from something. So I already have to have something to begin with so I could take five away. So if you want, you could say, well, I'm going to take five away from something. You've got to figure out what to put in front of that minus five. And we're taking it away from twice a number. If the number's x, remember, use x to represent the number. Twice the number would be 2x. A common mistake is to write 5 minus 2x. But then you're not subtracting 5 from something. You're starting off with 5 and subtracting something from it. So be very careful. Let's use another color to make it more obvious. All right, there we go. If it had said, 5 decreased by twice the number, it would that's more similar to number 1. Then you start off with 5 and put minus 2x because it says 5 decreased by. But if it says 5 subtracted from something, that means you have to have something to begin with so you could subtract 5 from it. All right, so that's how to write those three phrases is an algebraic expression. These are the last problems from 1.3. We're on part 4. It says, write each sentence as an equation or inequality. Use x to represent the unknown number, and then do not solve. 
So 5 times the number decreased by 4 is 6. Basically, if you have an equation or an inequality, you'll, you'll find the word is someplace. Um, and if it just says is, then it's an equation. If it says is greater than or is less than, then we've got an inequality. So for this first one, we see the word is here. That represents the equal sign. All right? So you have two parts the part that goes to the left side of the equal sign and on the right side. So for is here, we've got an equal. And on the right side, it's easy, it's 6. What do we have on the left? 5 times the number decreased by 4. So we just worked on these algebraic expressions. This is just the left side of it. 5 times the number, we're going to start off with 5 times x, since we're using x for the number. And decreased by 4 means you've got to take away 4. And there we have an equation, 5x minus 4 equals 6. Let's look at the second one. The sum of a number in 2 is greater than 7. All right, this time we see is greater than, so it's not an equation, it's an inequality, and it's greater than, looks like that, is greater than. Again, on the right side, there will be a part, which is 7. And on the left side, the sum of a number in 2. The right side's easy. It's just the number 7. On the left side, we have the sum of a number in 2. So we're adding two things. The sum means you're adding. So the sum of a number in 2 means you've got two parts, a number and 2. It's broken up by the word and here. The sum is broken up by the word and. So we have the sum of a number and 2. Actually, just a number and 2. So we have x is on one side of the sum and 2 is on the other side of the sum. But they're both over on the left side of the greater than symbol. So x plus 2 stands for the sum of a number and 2 is greater than and 7. All right, let's do number 3. The difference of a number in 5 is 13. So again, we see that word is. So that's our equal sign. All right, so the difference a number of a number in 5 is what's on one side of the equal sign, and 13's on the other side. So 13's the easy part, right? So the difference of a number in 5. So the difference means you're subtracting. Now maybe this helps for you to think about it this way. The difference of, it's broken up, a number and 5. Because the word and also breaks up what the difference is, what's on each side of the minus sign. So we have the number is before the word and, and 5 is after the word and. So we have x minus 5 equals 13. All right, so we have, for the first one, 5x minus 4 is 6. For the second one, might be easier to see it all in one color here, x plus 2 is greater than 7. And for the third one, whoops, x minus 5 is 13. Sorry, having technical difficulties. We'll just leave it at that. And that's the end of the problems from 1.3 to prepare for at least that section.